Hi everybody, this is Tasha and I'm back once again with another video and today I'm going to have to discuss you to talk about a different topic but it's still connected with the other one that we did the last time and it's going to be about worshipping God this way. So this is a topic that um, I think it's, it's connected with the other one because of when you're supposed to build a relationship with your creator, when you're supposed to build a relationship with God, it it reaches a point where you need to encounter Him. You need that presence in your life. Or you need that, sometimes you need that assurance, but you can't get it as long as you're busy. You're busy doing it your way. That is why I call it worshiping God His way. Our way is like one time you are trying to worship God and you've come all organized, the things you want to do, everything, like you've arranged, like I'm going to use this worship song, I'm going to use this one, it's always very powerful, I'm, only, I'm going to use this kind of sermon or I'm going to study this word and all that. So if it's like you're coming before the presence of God, and you, you have your own agenda. You want to be in the relationship with God, but you want to do it your way. And God is, is a king. Come to think about it. He's a king. You cannot push him to do things your way. So that brings us to a point where now you have to focus. You have to think your way forward. If you're going to do this relationship with God, then there has to be certain things that you have to know that has to down. Like, you might feel like I want to do it this way, but somehow it's just never what you want to do that day. Okay, what I'm saying this is like you might come before God, like, God, I want you to reveal to me something concerning my future or something concerning my destiny or what, am I, what is my purpose and all that and you are pressing in with worship and you are coming in before God continuously asking the same thing and being in the worship yeah, being in the worship mood and doing everything in terms of worshiping him but him at that point is concerned with something else so you'll find after all the prayers, all the hours that you put in in prayers the revelations that you get, they're not connected to what you're praying about or what you'd have wanted him to be to do. He reveals to you something different out of what you actually thought it was going to be. That is why it is very important that we know this way, that we do not remain so still, such that if he's not doing it your way, you are like, oh God, you are not answering me. And this is something that I've brought before you continuously and I've worshipped you so that I've just and I've come continuously to require concerning it and I've not had anything. I'm not saying that you give up. I'm saying that you keep on pressing in. But don't think that you're going to control God. If it's not yet time for him to reveal something to you concerning that issue, he won't. He won't say much about it. And even why worshiping God His way is very important is because when you begin to worship God His way, there are certain things that you begin to realize that you get seen in the past. Or maybe you had a dream or a vision about them, but you were not keen enough to actually pick them. Because you are spiritually not alert, or maybe you are not awake spiritually, because somehow you slumbered in your prayer life or your relationship with God. So He He showed you these things, but somehow you did not pick them. So when you begin to build this this relationship, it begins to come up. Like you, you see yourself now being able to remember. Okay, this one I already saw it, but I don't remember why I. Okay, I didn't remember, but I, already, I had already seen this thing. So, what I'm trying to say is, it's very important to do this. Let's just not live life knowing 
while knowing that the enemy is out there trying to figure out ways to destroy people's lives, trying to figure out ways to to rape people, to destroy destinies and all that. And yet, Isaiah 55 verse 9, it says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than the ways, and my thoughts than the thoughts. So, let's bring it back to we are talking about worship to God. If he's saying that you can interpret that knowing the difference of the heavens and the earth and your thoughts and his thoughts, they are majorly different. He might be thinking that today when this daughter of mine or when this son of mine comes before me, I would like us to do this. I would like us to go this way. But us who come sometimes before him with a fixed mind, I'm going to start with this one. And then when I do this, I continue and then I go deep into the spirit. Now you're, you're praying and all that. But some of you don't come out with much because you are the one who trying to control things. So what I'm trying to say is this. His way entails you being alert in the spirit. Being alert in the spirit in that if you know you, you, you worship immediately maybe with songs, be alert to hear what kind of songs he's trying to bring before you. Be alert to know what kind of songs he's trying to suggest to you. Mostly he doesn't always think like several of them at a go. It's always like one at one point. You just feel like it's within your spirit and follow that lead. Worship with whatever he has given you and continuously be in his presence. And sometimes even it calls us, it calls upon us to to keep on being there. Like being there, I believe there are some people who can just worship with normal language and there are some people who can worship in tongues. Whichever way you're flexible with, until you begin hearing the intuitions, that is what some people call it. Intuitions or this leading like you you just feel in your spirit like sing this song or maybe it reminds you of a certain scripture and you use that this scripture even as you continuously as you are continuing your prayer. So this thing is going to open up. It's like it gives you one step. If you follow this one, possibility of him giving you the next step is also there. But if you do not follow the first one, you will have broke, you will have broken this pattern and possibility of you encountering him that day that you are focused on spending time with him will be more of like you will just have okay, but some time in the presence of God according to you. But where did you meet him or where did you encounter him? You cannot see that because you missed it. You missed it. It was there, but you were too keen on your own way. You were too keen on doing things. And that is what also the churches do. I'm not against their style, but sometimes you need to allow God to be whichever way he wants to be. lead his people into his presence. Particularly if you're keen in the spirit. I'm not saying that you just go like, okay, if you're not keen, please don't try to tell us that you're keeping us the way that the spirit is leading you yet maybe it's not from the spirit. And people will be able to believe it's not from the spirit. Because anything that is from the spirit of God is always, it always has a backup of him. You will feel his presence. You will feel his presence, literally. You will know that this is God. And it reaches a point, maybe what I'm saying, do it his way. Sometimes, okay, there's a time I, <laughs> I would come forward and I'm like, today, today you will spend enough time with me. I will spend enough time with you. And, and I'm like, I start my own Okay, I try to follow the lead at first, and I worship and I do what I think I want to do. Then it reaches a point that it reaches a point that it reaches a point that I feel like he begins to teach you, like he literally teaches you to 
talks to you concerning something like for a long time so it's like you are praying and then now you're busy on and on going on and on about what is trying to say you're going on and on about it and at some point you realize that you need to take your head so you write down you write down whatever you hear me or whatever you feel like in the spirit you've been deposited and you write it down and you write it down and that was that is how we wanted that day to be spent with him yet maybe if i was too much focused on myself and how i want to encounter you know sometimes you get used to the presence of what my next that you just say i want to get him like i want to feel his presence i don't know he teaches that point i feel you got it to use to be feeling this or encounter it so what you have to know is that god acts First of all, he acts according to his desire and his choices in terms of what he wants to do, what he wants to do on that particular day or at that particular time. And we have to learn to give room for his choices, not our own choices and how we want things to go or how we plan, like this is how it's supposed to go. And this can only happen, I've told you, if you are alert in the spirit. If you are not alert, you will not pick it up. It's always really small clues. The path into the presence of God is, is not easy because most people are, are too focused on other things. They are not focused on picking the clues that the spirit of God gives along the way. He will give you one clue like, use, use this or do this or pray in a certain manner or now it's the time for you to begin to declare over your life or over the life of somebody or something like that or it's time for you now to just be silent like sometimes we realize like we are just supposed to, sometimes you don't even have what to say when you want so deep, you can't even describe, so Let me just put it like we have to live our own way of doing things and trust his life, trust his way, because I'm sure, I'm very sure that he did us into his presence. I hope I've covered it in a, in, in, in a way that you will understand. Because you're trying, let's say you're trying to be, somebody is trying to be in a relationship with you. Will this person be trying to do the things that they think you like? Of which they don't know if you like them. They are just assuming. Or you'd prefer if this person actually told you, I like this, and then you do it. I like doing this, I would love to do this today, and then you do it. Because sometimes you try to do something your own way, trying to think that pleasing this person but then it's not it's not working yeah so if, if it's going to be to the pleasure of God it has to be his way and then just know that he deals with people differently for me he might deal with me differently because he wants me to do something else today he, with somebody else just around the same time trying to spend time with God, he will deal with that person also differently. So he, it's not, there is no strict pattern like this is it. The only thing that I can say is strict pattern. Please be alert to the leading of the Spirit of God. Be awake in the Spirit. And you can be awake in the Spirit if you spend more time in prayer so you continuously become awake and you will be able to hear or you'll be able to perceive certain things. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.